What's up, YouTube? This is Shadow Boy, the best golf playing YouTuber ever, back with yet another video. And today we have something sad to talk about. This tweet here. Um, thank you, golf wing reporters, for posting because I would have never known about this. But um, this tweet here from Tyler saying, "Whatever, though, y'all gonna hate the next few seasons. I'm over t-shirts and gaudy logos. I'm in love with brown, so expect every earth tone. Ha ha ha." Y'all about to be like, oh man, remember when it was good? I can't wait. <sighs> Just want a moment to let that sink in, guys. And yeah, alright, so my thoughts on this. Um, it's definitely upsetting as a longtime fan. Uh, like he said, um, we already were like, um, remember when it was good um, kind of thing. Um, that's already been way underway, and then basically people were already really iffy on new golf, um, and I try to defend it, I really do, I try to make it, I try to understand both sides, and I don't think it's nearly as bad as a lot of people say, but this here, when he says that he is um, over t-shirts and gaudy logos and in love with brown, so expect every earth tone. Um, first off, I want to say, like I said, I'm not a hater of the newer stuff. I, I don't think it's nearly as good as it used to be, but I'm not a total hater on the new stuff. I do think there are some gems to be found. Um, but the thing is, is that where Golf Wing had success was t-shirts and gaudy logos and colors and now he's saying he is over t-shirts and gaudy logos and to expect earth tones. And don't get me wrong, there are people that are going to like this, but that is exactly what made Golf Wang successful other than his name attached to it. Um, it really stood out for that. Um, it was the reason why a lot of people bought it was because of the colors, because... Um, people weren't into, um, like, anything crazy as far as tops and stuff. They just like wearing t-shirts with crazy-looking logos. And, um, a lot of people, including me, have said that, um, the golf wing that is now coming out is really simplistic. The logos, like the anti-golf hoodie, for instance, it's very, um, generic. Not to say I don't like it, but it's just... That's a good example of what's been coming out lately. It's a lot of these very bland fonts. It's just the colors are never all that crazy either. He's not pumping out crazy colors. Um, yeah, and people are already not feeling that, including myself, where it's just like um, everything's the same. Nothing feels like a must. Like when people go, what like I was saying, is that what made Golf Wing successful was the crazy colors and crazy logos and designs. And... If you take that away, then it's like, that's what made it so special. Because I'm not going to buy a plain t-shirt from Golf Wing when I can just buy a plain t-shirt from anyone, you know? Like, I come to Golf Wing and I only buy Golf Wing when it's stuff that really stands out. That I'm like, alright, that $20 shipping and that overpriceness, I can pay it because it's something that I know is memorable and it's really going to stand out. It's really going to be like a neck breaker per se, um, where it really it feels like, at least design wise, not necessarily quality, but you're just like, this was worth it. Um, but now it's like with that $20 shipping um, and that maybe overpriced hoodie of $90 or $80 and it's going to be something really simple. I'm not feeling that, man. Like, that's really messed up because the reason why people are buying it is because of the crazy designs. You're not going to get those crazy designs anywhere else. Now, I'm sure he's going to put some unique um, designs into it. Like, it's not going to be exactly like anything you could have bought anywhere. But it's getting closer and closer to being just a typical design um, that he's making. Like, it's not going to be very um, standout-ish. And... That's going to kill. I don't know if it's really going to hurt him that bad because, I mean, Flower Boy was huge success. But um, the thing that I know, like, immediately when I read this, I'm thinking, this is really going to show who's there 
just because uh, it's a wave and who's there because they actually liked the stuff. Um, cause the people that were really there for Tyler and were there because they really liked his designs and stuff, they're not going to have any of this. Um, they're not going to be for this at all. Um, but the more like hype these people, the people that showed up for flower boy and stuff, they're going to be for it because they didn't really, they didn't have any attachment really to the old Tyler. And yeah, um, I'm not going to totally, um, Dismiss this though. I mean, there's definitely a chance that there's some cool things from this. Personally, for me, I'm I'm gonna give it a chance. I really am not liking the look of what I'm hearing from this, um, but I I'll wait till I actually see it. I I think we all have to at least be fair enough to at least wait till we see it. Um, but he has to understand though. Like, there are some people that feel like they have to buy Tyler's stuff. And don't get me wrong, I love Tyler. Like, I love him to death. But you don't... It's not like we're handcuffed to buying stuff. And some people are in that hype beast mentality where they feel like they're handcuffed to buying stuff, sort of like Supreme and stuff like that. But you have to understand as a business that people don't have to give you their money. People don't have to like what you're doing no matter what. And I'm all for him if he likes doing this stuff. Good for him. Like, if he really likes making clothes like this, if that's what he wants to make. Because I know most of the inspiration behind his clothes is just, like, he makes whatever he wants to wear for the next couple weeks or months. And, yeah, if he wants that, yeah. But then he has to understand that people are not going to like it. And he's, he seems like he knows that. But he has to understand that the money might not be flowing in nearly as much. And he can't expect all the fans to really be backing him on this. Because fans make you for what you did. But then if you're not going to do what the fans um, knew you for, what the fans were supporting you for, if you go back on that and you do something that isn't what the fans were supporting you for, they're not going to support it then, man. Like... That's asking too much. I mean, it hurts, man. I, I don't know what to say. I don't want to be too critical about this. Um, some of you guys I already know are going to be really upset with what I said. Um, but I just got to keep it real. I'm not, I'm, this channel isn't here to be like praising Tyler and being like, oh, he is the greatest ever. He has done everything perfect. Um, we should all be bowing down to him. I'm here to give like real thoughts on this stuff. Because there's a lot of sources out there that are just praising everything everyone does. But you need real people out there to like really review these things, to really step back and tell you guys, wait, shouldn't you be thinking about this a little bit more before you spend your money that you like really earned from work or whatever? And yeah, I, I mean, don't get mad at me for stuff like that. Like I'm really trying to help you guys. I'm really trying to show you guys other um, viewpoints. And, yeah, I really hope you guys can appreciate that. Um, but, yeah, that's really my thought on this. I really thought I had to do a video on this because this is definitely going to be controversial and something a lot of people are going to be thinking about in the golf wing community. Let me know in the comments section below what do you think of this tweet and what do you think um, we should feel about or how do you feel about this whole idea of him doing this now with the clothing brand. Uh, please hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video, guys. Also, please subscribe if you want more golf wing news, pickups, and more. Also, check out my brand information in the description box below, as well as to my Instagram, Shuttle. Much appreciated for any support over there. And this is Shuttleboy, the best golf wing YouTuber ever. And I'm out, guys. Peace.